Clay Patton on the Rural Radio Network here with the Midwest Sheep and Goat Market Report. For the week ending August the 26th, the Midwest Sheep and Goat Market Report going to look just a little bit different as unfortunately I fell a little bit short on time this week to fully compile all the sales data like we traditionally look at week to week. While it's been a little while, I thought it would be important still this week to take a look at what's happening over on the import side of the trade. As we know, uh, we continue to be lar- mostly importers of lamb and goat meat here into the U.S. versus broad exporters of it as we try to fill in just even our own consumer demand. With that, thanks to the American Sheep Industry Association, quick peruse of their August newsletter shows U.S. data, USDA import data for the month of May showing lamb imports lower than last year. May imports totaled 17 million pounds. That was down 29% below May of 22. For the year, lamb imports are down 19% and good news. In fact, imports in April and May were below the 2017 to 2021 five-year average with domestic production only down half a percent in Imports down 19% for the this year. Imports are making up a smaller share of total lamb supplies here in the U.S., so very positive here for our U.S. lamb producers. Now, other data also out on this week was USDA, who released their cold storage report Wednesday, August 23rd. USDA data shows that as of July 31st, the U.S. had about 27.38 million pounds of lamb and mutton in commercial cold storage. Now, that was about a 10% increase, or about 2.5 million pound increase month over month. It also was about a 7% or 1.7 million pound increase above a year ago. In the same time frame, beef and pork stocks both saw yearly declines in commercial cold storage. Not sure that paints the best picture for lamb, but it also could show, though, just a little stockpiling ahead of usually a seasonally more aggressive time for lamb demand towards the end of the year and into the holiday season as well. Hope to be back next week with a more full and in-depth report like we're used to seeing here in the Midwest Sheep and Goat Marker Report. Until then, find your latest in ag news and information at RuralRadioNetwork.com. Um...